Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where today I'm here in the absolutely gorgeous Scottish Highlands. And you know what? The sun is shining, which is perfect for today's adventure. Why am I here? Of course there's only one reason. I'm trying to spot the Loch Ness Monster. And I'm standing right here on the edge of Loch Ness. This place is absolutely gorgeous. I've just been driving along the road next to here, seeing some absolutely stunning scenery. And that scenery is about to get even better as we search around Loch Ness to try and get a sight in, of course, of the Loch Ness Monster. And also visit an absolutely gorgeous castle that I've wanted to visit for quite a few years. It looks stunning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back up to my car, which is somewhere just up here. Uh, get in the car, I'm going to put the camera on the dashboard, we'll get some nice footage and be driving along the side of the road. We're going to drive down the side here of Loch Ness and make my way towards uh, this castle that looks absolutely stunning. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. You know what I'm like, my pronunciation is absolutely terrible. But I'm pretty sure it's along the lines of Uckhardt Castle or something along that. Um, there's probably a lot of people laughing right now. But I'm going to make my way up there, get some great views and try to spot Nessie. Let me spin you all round. Here we go, this place is absolutely stunning, it really, really is. Uh, I've literally parked on the side of the road here, there's a nice little lay-by for you to pull in uh, so you can come down here and get some great views of Loch Ness. I've wanted to visit here all my life. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with learning all about the Loch Ness Monster. Of course, uh, allegedly, to be in here, the Loch Ness Monster. So you never know, we might get a sight in. We might not get a sight in. <laughs> but no, people have been looking for years and years and years to try and find uh, the Loch Ness Monster. People sit around the sides, they wait. Uh, they've been on boat trips, they've tried all sorts to try and get a glimpse of Nessie. So I think our chances today are pretty slim, but you never know. <laughs> Anything's possible here on Adventure Sean, but I'm gonna get up to the car. We're gonna get some great views. We're gonna go to this castle. Uh, I'm gonna take you around there. And then also I'm gonna continue on having a bit of a drive around Loch Ness and show you some of the absolutely gorgeous scenery. But yeah, this place is great just to come down here, chill out along the side. You can just pitch up here for a few hours and look out there and try to spot a glimpse of Nessie. I reckon that's what they're doing out there on that boat. See him out there in the distance. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a really, really nice day for doing this today. Absolutely gorgeous, it really is. So I'm gonna make my way around this way, back up the steps just here, up to the car, and let's go towards the castle. And like I said, I'm gonna put some footage in of that journey, just so you can see how nice it is, because the scenery around here in the Scottish Highlands is absolutely gorgeous. So after around a 15 minute drive from where I started this video, I've made it here to the absolutely breathtaking Ulkhath Castle. And look at this, it's absolutely stunning. You can see the castle there just on the hill, and of course this absolutely beautiful view of Loch Ness. So I'm making my way down the hill just here uh, to go and explore the castle itself and all of the history. Uh, normally they actually have like a movie that you watch when you head down there, um, but because of social distancing, that's not running at the moment. But you can use your phone, scan some QR codes and get some information and facts about the castle as well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring this place. It says how much it cost. Um, it was just under 10 pounds to come and walk around here. And at the moment you do have to pre-book a ticket as well. You can't just turn up, you do need to pre-book a reservation to come here to the castle. But um, you don't want to be looking at me. You want to see this view. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to spin you around and let's do some exploring. Here it is then, the first focal point for us to look at here, the absolutely awesome trebuchet that we can see here. 
It's currently having some restoration work done to it, hence why it's got a fence around it at the moment. But yeah, the trebuchet just here. I've seen one of these in action actually at Warwick Castle. Uh, it's a brilliant show what they put on and it's a giant trebuchet, even bigger than the one that we can see just here and um, that they rebuilt. And uh, yeah, they actually launch it and it's fantastic um, to go and watch at Warwick Castle. Definitely uh, recommend it. This is beautiful around here. Like, the, you know, you say Scotland, this is it. I'm in Loch Ness. I'm looking at the castle here in front of me. Uh, you know, I don't think you can get any more authentic than Scotland than this. And you know what? I'm looking out for Nessie. <laughs> They're on the lookout for Nessie. They're probably on the lookout for Nessie. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning. So yeah, Loch Ness itself is absolutely huge. Um, I started the video all the way down at that end in the distance. We can't even see um, the area where it was, many, many miles away. I think it was about 12 miles away from where I am now in that direction. And bear in mind, this is not even the halfway point. Um, if we're going in terms of the length of Loch Ness, it extends all the way around this corner and straight down that way as well, where I believe there is another viewing point down there. Um, but yeah, honestly, this is absolutely huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. I've wanted to come here all my life. It's a really nice bucket list. And of course, it's great to share this moment with you as well. It really is. Oh, such a nice day. I was not expecting weather like this in Scotland. I really, really wasn't. Let's have a little look at this uh, fact sheet just over here so we can uh, see some information. Yeah, so we started off down here at the top, of course, walk down. We're about to go into the bridge just here. So number one, which is the gatehouse, which we can see straight ahead just there. Of course, we've already seen the trebuchet, which is up at the top. Then we've got all the different parts of the castle that are marked out around here for us to uh, walk around. But yeah, as we can see down here, it tells you lots of different um, information about the 1500 years of uh, the history of this place and the dramatic story. Wow, absolutely fantastic. All right, let's uh, carry on up this way and cross over the bridge. What a location. We can actually go up some areas as well, it seems. I can see some people at the windows just up there. Brilliant. With it being a ruin, I didn't realise how much we'd be able to walk up. But I tell you what, I think this view is going to be pretty stunning when we go through here. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning, it really is. Follow the one-way system in operation around this way. And yeah, when I said Loch Ness was huge, really get an idea now. This is looking out in the other direction here. We're on a bit of land what kind of sticks out, a little bit of a peninsula style piece of land that we're on here that sticks out to the side. Yeah, it looks like we can walk up that tower just around that way. Maybe not all the way up, but at least quite a way round. Big, big bucket list thing for me right now. What oh, some echo. It shows just how uh, far we are away from them trees, doesn't it? It looks like I'm sort of looking out at a screen down at the end of there. And there's also a bit of an echo, echo, echo. <laughs> it doesn't look like they've had too much rain around here either today. There's a few little puddles in places, but nothing too much. Look at that view. This place is absolutely fascinating, it really is. And we're headed upstairs now, around this spiral staircase, up the Grant Tower. Just around this way. I imagine normally you can get access just around here to the top, but probably closed due to social distancing. At a guess. Get a really nice perspective from here, just raised up a little bit. Looking out for Nessie down there. I know you're all looking in every single corner where the water is. Still can't believe I'm actually here. I've seen so many photos of this over the years and Loch Ness. Here we can see another information board here about the private chamber. See all the different levels there. Of course, there wouldn't have been a big hole in the side of the building. I think it would have got a bit cold for them. <laughs> but this gives us a good idea on the different levels. Not too sure where we are in relation to that. Maybe here somewhere. 
at this point. But yeah, lots and lots of information. And of course, feel free to pause the video at any point um, if you want to read a little bit more of the information boards. I'll be showing quite a few of them. You can see right up to the top there. That's like a fireplace there, isn't it? You can see where the uh, chimney would have been through the middle there. Really interesting to see. It's a view back up to the visitor center just over there in the car park. We head down the steps down this way. Yeah, it's a shame you can't go up to the top. I bet the view from there is absolutely incredible. From looking at the fence that's been put in, I imagine normally you can go up to the top there, but completely understandable how that is closed off at the moment because of social distancing. breathtaking from here absolutely stunning and I've just walked down these steps here past the ruins we can see here on the right hand side the area what would have been these stables of course because it's nice and close there to the gatehouse we're going to carry on around this way now and up these steps a little bit higher up where we should get the best views looking over the castle and of course Loch Ness and it's absolute beauty I always knew that I was going to come to Loch Ness at some point in my life and be amazed at the size of it. When you're told about it as a kid and you hear about it on TV, you watch documentaries, read books, do research on the internet, you think, oh, it can't be that big. This is Loch Ness, oh, all the way around here and all the way down there, as far as the eye can see in both directions. Like I say, where I started this video, I was all the way down there, somewhere around the other side um, of the big mountain that we can see there. But I tell you what, the scale of this is absolutely amazing. One of the best views I've ever had. And it's a bit windy and I apologize about that. There's not a lot I can really do. Can you imagine living up there in that house? <laughs> at least it's not absolutely throwing it down with rain it's only a little bit here and there it just goes to show though how it can change so much 15 minutes ago when i was walking down the bottom the sun was out and now look at it <laughs> absolutely crazy really is see that wall down there i wonder if that was part of the moat just here maybe the the water used to come around this bit i mean i'm not 100 percent sure but they had the the bridge and this is definitely some sort of moat over there and now i've seen that wall over there it makes me think so but yeah you can see some of the roads that i was driving around just up there actually where the uh, wagon is just going around the views were absolutely amazing and i went through a really nice town actually just around the corner which is probably where i'm going to stop tonight and get some food actually and um, support some of the local businesses around here we're all about supporting them local businesses especially with everything that's gone on this year they really really need it too sure how well this is picking up on the camera but you can just see the end of a rainbow just there you gotta look very very closely you can just make out the colors of the rainbow across Loch Ness maybe if I zoom out a little bit more there you can just make it out in front of the mountain there and up into the sky stunning and this view from here is again absolutely breathtaking in fact looks like the rainbow is becoming a little bit clearer now the more that I zoom out. I mean, that is just picture perfect, isn't it? It's like a postcard. You've got Loch Ness in the background, the castle, all the mountains and hills. And then now to finish it off perfectly, even a rainbow.
So I'm right down by the water now, standing literally right next to Loch Ness. And this is exactly where a lot of goods would have been brought up into the castle. So we're going back here. Before the days of roads, it would have been a lot easier for them to just bring things down uh, here on Loch Ness on boats. And this is exactly where they would have come before bringing them up to the castle itself. And as you can see, it'd be quite a steep sort of climb up here um, to bring all the goods like wines and um, all the different things that will be delivered uh, up here to the castle. Because as you can see, they'd have to uh, navigate this hill and head in through the little doorway that we can see just over there. This place is absolutely fascinating. It's exceeded all of my expectations. I've wanted to come for so long to come and explore it around here, and it really is stunning. And the fact that the weather, I've seen a bit of everything. I've seen it in the sunshine, seen it with a bit of uh, rain, which is, let's face it, it's traditional Scotland, isn't it? A bit of rain. And uh, of course, with that beautiful rainbow as well. So I'm gonna put a few more shots in now as I make my way uh, back up towards the car. Well, before I head back up towards the car, I thought I've got to come down this way on the search for Nessie. Because look at this, I'm really close to the water here. Beautiful. Now, Nessie, where are you? I'm that close, I can even touch it. How's it feeling in there? It's, uh, yeah, it's feeling a bit cold. Uh, very clean, though, when you look around the edge here. But yeah, Nessie, are you in there? <laughs> I think if we were going to spot her, we'd see her from here somewhere, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this place is absolutely huge. I mean, you, you know, you've got to think with the Loch Ness Monster, you either believe in the story um, or you don't. I, you know, I'm one of them people that I've always thought, hang on a minute, just how big is Loch Ness? And I think now I've been here and I've seen it, uh, it really makes you think if you were going to spot a, a potential monster, in this like you'd have to be looking around here for years and years and years you just got to be in the right place at the right time like could be down here or could be over there <laughs> but no, you got to be in the right place at the right time maybe getting a boat is the best idea a bit like they're doing over there maybe at some point in the future i'll have enough time on my hands i'll get a boat just like that one and we'll go for a nice little uh, tour out here on Loch Ness. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, the weather's starting to take a turn for the worse now. You can see a lot of uh, mist starting to come in here in the Scottish Highlands. So I'm going to start heading back up this way. There's the castle up there on the hill. I'm going to head back up this way towards the car. Past the trebuchet, past the visitor centre and on my way. Well, that was absolutely breathtaking, wasn't it? The views were stunning all across Loch Ness. The castle itself was amazing to walk around and see. It really, really was. And I've wanted to visit there for so many years and it certainly didn't disappoint. I've left there with amazing reviews. I thought it was brilliant. The staff were great. The operation that they were in at the moment was really good. And I'll definitely be back at some point in the future. They've done a fantastic job uh, preserving that the best they can do in terms of, you know, that is a crumbling building. Like, and they've managed to, uh, clear out the sites and preserve at least some of it so that we can see it and enjoy it and I thought that that was stunning the views were great and the weather is beautiful as well I wasn't expecting this so I mentioned earlier in the video that I came through a really nice little village um, on the way to the castle this is less than a 10 minute drive away from where I was and I thought you know what I'm gonna have to come here do a bit of filming and sort of show you this area uh, because there's an attraction here that's closed at the moment unfortunately I sort of had to have done it here on adventure Sean it's called Nessie land um, and we'll have a little look up at the entrance. It's closed at the moment because of the pandemic. Understandable, uh, but it is a shame that it's short. I'll definitely have to be back at some point in the future, but I'm just gonna show you this map just here. I'll spin you around this way because I don't really know how to pronounce the name of this place. I'm not going to lie. D Drum and Drocket? Is that how we say it? D Drum and Drocket? I, I don't, I really don't know, but there we go. Drum Nadrocket. <laughs> I am awful at pronunciation, I really am, but uh, this is quite a touristy area. I mean, you can see you've got um, signs for boat trips over there with a picture of Nessie on, um, a nice Scottish gift shop. And yeah, you can see just down here, Loch Ness. So we just come inland um, a little bit here. So however you pronounce that, I really do not know but yeah you've got all sorts of different walking paths around here yeah really really nice thought i'm just gonna have to show you this let's just cross over here there we go oh nessie land they've still got the signs out for it and everything there we go the best gift selection on Loch Ness. i wonder if the shop's open i'll have to have a look but obviously we're coming towards the end of the day it's nearly five o'clock yeah you've got a nice pub just over there very traditional isn't it what a lovely little place b and b sorry they're full that's good to see though yeah, let's have a little walk down this way towards Nessie Land. How quaint is this place? Really, really nice. Look at the building over there in the distance. Beautiful, isn't it? The Courtyard Cafe. Unfortunately, that one's closed, but quite a few of these are open. You've got the Nessie Deli just over there as well. 
Really nice. And then you've got the floral castle here. I thought I'm just going to have to show you this, especially because that's been a big focus of this video. There it is. It says in the middle, Urquhart Castle, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> there you go. And you can see a nice floral version. I must say it's looking in a bit of a better state here. And it is over there a few miles away. But like I say, they've done the best they can to preserve that place. They really have. It's quite interesting, isn't it? It's actually a free car park just around here as well. I mean, at these touristy spots back in England, they'd be charging you an extortionate rate to park up. Whereas here, they're just happy to have you custom. Got the village store over there as well. And there we go, there's the brown sign. You see it? Nessie Land. Let's see if we can see Nessie out the front. Well, we've all heard of Disneyland. Now we've seen Nessie Land. Here it is. I would have absolutely loved to have done a full vlog for Adventure Sean here from Nessie Land, I really would. But it is all closed up. But I tell you what, we can get to see Nessie out the front just here. And then the uh, Loch Ness Lodge Hotel here at Nessie Land. It may still have some uh, guests in there. There's a few cars on the car park. Well, here's Nessie. Yeah, it's a shame it's all closed up around here. I would have absolutely loved to visit. It looks like they're making a new table or something down here. I'll throw in that one out maybe. There's the big gift shop, it's closed. Luckily we've still got the other one down that way. But I tell you what, there's Nessie. We've been here. I might not have seen the real Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, but I've seen you, haven't I? And that's been more than worth it. It really, really has. Good old Nessie land. What a nice way to wrap up today's vlog here on Adventure Sean, on my Scottish adventure. Good old Nessie. I believe you. I know you're in there. Now that's what I like to call perfect timing. I was just walking back down the road there from Nessie Land, two minutes from the car, and I thought, here we go, it's starting to rain, and it did, and now it's absolutely throwing it down outside. So I'm glad that I've made it back into the car here, in the dry, ready to continue on the drive on my tour through Scotland. What a fantastic day it's been, action-packed. Of course, I'm not just filming stuff for this channel, I'm also filming stuff on Theme Park Worldwide as well. I've just visited a theme park this morning, then come on to do the castle and Loch Ness and see this area this afternoon so um, yeah really busy this series is across both channels so if you haven't already go and check out theme park worldwide where you can see the three theme parks that I'm going to be visiting on this Scottish trip and then of course stick with me here on Adventure Sean to see my non theme park adventures and seeing things like Loch Ness I might not have seen the real Nessie but I tell you what I've seen that fiberglass model and that'll do nicely for me it's brilliant around here I absolutely love it I could spend a week just exploring this area I'd love to go down to some of the other viewpoints um, around Loch Ness. I really, really would. It's absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, uh, it's the opposite direction going that way. I need to be heading back the way that I've just come, um, up towards Inverness, and then across to Aberdeen, which is where I'm going to be tomorrow, visiting another theme park, and then continuing on in the afternoon um, with another attraction that I'm going to be sharing here on Adventure Sean. So there we go. Thank you very much for joining me. I've absolutely loved today. It's been brilliant. And thank you very much for joining me for another video here on this channel that leaves me one more thing to say make sure you escape from the rain when it's raining and uh, also get out there and have your own adventures see you all soon